Have you ever noticed that big buses, especially the ones that carry us through bustling cities and long highways, have their engines in the back? While it might seem like just a design choice, there's actually a fascinating story behind why these machines are built this way. Today, we're diving into the little-known engineering secrets of buses and how these choices impact everything from passenger comfort to safety on the road. By the end of this video, you'll see buses in a whole new light. Buses are far more than vehicles on wheels. They're vital connections for millions of people globally, bridging the gap between cities, communities, and essential services like healthcare and education. In many places, buses are lifelines, supporting economies, facilitating growth, and connecting people with opportunities and necessities. And as the demand for these connections grows, bus designs have had to evolve to meet specific needs. This brings us to the focus of today's video, rear engine buses. So why do large buses, particularly those iconic urban giants, choose to put the engine in the back? Let's break down the four main reasons and explore how each one enhances the bus's role in transporting us safely, comfortably, and efficiently. One, efficient space usage. More passengers, more profits. One of the biggest reasons for rear-mounted engines is the efficient use of space. Think about it, every inch on a bus can mean more passenger seats, which is essential in high traffic areas or long distance travel. When the engine is located in the back, buses maximize valuable cabin space. For large urban buses, this means they can operate within the maximum vehicle lengths set by each country while still transporting the maximum number of passengers. And why is this important? More passengers mean more revenue, especially on busy urban routes where every seat makes a difference. In contrast, buses with front engines, like the ones we see for shorter distances or school routes, are typically designed to carry fewer people. Often, these buses are based on conventional truck platforms, designed more for function than maximum capacity. But maximizing space is just one reason. This brings us to an important next point, comfort and accessibility. Two, flat floors for easy boarding, a better experience for everyone. Imagine boarding a bus with a flat floor, where stepping in feels effortless. With a rear engine, buses can have a completely flat floor, making boarding and moving inside much easier and safer for everyone, especially elderly passengers and those with disabilities. And here's a little secret. When the engine is in the back, it eliminates the need for a large transmission tunnel running down the center of the bus, which frees up even more space. This design also improves luggage storage, creating spacious, continuous compartments beneath the floor, ideal for passengers on long-distance routes. With ample storage and spacious layout, these buses provide a smoother travel experience, keeping the passenger area clutter-free and easy to navigate. But this isn't just about storage and accessibility. There's another critical factor where rear engines make a big difference, driver visibility. 3. Improved visibility and better handling. Safety first. Imagine you're behind the wheel of one of these large buses. Having a rear engine allows designers to build expansive windshields, offering drivers a wide, unobstructed view of the road. With no bulky engine in the front, the driver can sit closer to the windshield, making it easier to see pedestrians, vehicles, and obstacles. This visibility is crucial for maneuvering through busy streets, particularly in crowded cities where a split second of improved visibility can make all the difference. But it's not just about what the driver can see. The rear engine setup also improves handling. Since the engine weight sits over the rear wheels, these buses have better traction, especially on slippery roads or challenging curves. Ever notice that rear engine vehicles like sports cars and even Formula One racers have superior handling? The same principle applies here, making these buses surprisingly agile and stable. But there's one more reason that makes this decision shine, especially for anyone who's had to sit near the front of a loud vibrating engine. 4. A quieter, more comfortable ride, for drivers and passengers alike. If you've ever ridden a front-engine bus, you probably noticed how loud and disruptive it can be. With the engine in the back, buses create a quieter, more comfortable environment for everyone on board. The engine compartment is separated away from the driver and passengers, which drastically reduces noise and vibration in the cabin. But what makes this even better? Modern rear engine buses are equipped with specialized soundproofing materials that make the ride even smoother. This attention to detail provides a more enjoyable experience for everyone, whether they're traveling a few blocks or across the country. 
It's the kind of thoughtful design that you may never notice at first glance, but makes a big difference in the long run. Now, let's dive into a couple of specific design features that make rear engine buses ideal for modern transport needs. Bonus, smart cooling systems, and fuel efficiency. Here's something you may not know. Because rear engine buses don't need to take in air at the front, their cooling systems are strategically designed to improve efficiency. This cooling system placement, combined with careful airflow management, helps rear engine buses perform well even on long journeys and in extreme climates. And since rear engines tend to be more fuel efficient, this design has financial and environmental benefits too. A win-win for bus companies and the environment alike. So next time you step onto a bus, take a look around and think about the engineering that went into making your journey smooth, safe, and quiet. Rear engine buses aren't just practical, they're marvels of design crafted to meet the needs of busy cities and expansive highways alike. What do you think about this behind the scenes look at bus design? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know if there are other bus design features you'd like to learn about. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of transportation design and engineering. Thanks for watching.